Remember this baby beaten to death and whose father is charged with his murder? 7 News investigator John Ferrugia raised questions about why little DeAnthony Heron was left with a man who has a history of violence and mental illness. The death of this baby was so disturbing to us and the signs of trouble so clear that John has been digging deeper, finding thousands of safety concerns that Denver Human Services simply does not accept for investigation. I get to the hospital and they have this, his head wrapped and he wasn't even conscious. They put him on a life support because he couldn't breathe on his own. Amber Lucero, the mother of DeAnthony Heron, was with her child when he died. They put him in my arms and they unplugged him. But you were there with him? Yeah. A DHS report submitted to the court and obtained by 7 News shows that Michael Heron, now accused of murder, had a history of mental illness, domestic violence, and even sexual assault on an older daughter. Yet Denver Human Services and other counties repeatedly screened out or rejected concerns about the children in his custody. There are a half a dozen red flags here. Sherry Schink is founder of the Rocky Mountain Children's Law Center. My God, this guy was asked to leave a shelter for domestic violence as well as the other domestic violence, so it's not yeah. just... She has also been on the advisory board of the State Child Protection Ombudsman. As a lawyer, she has been involved in child welfare for three decades, representing the interests of kids. It makes no sense to me. What were they thinking? I mean, you don't need to have a master's degree in anything uh, to know that this baby is at risk. And assessment of risk is a critical task for every county human services agency in the state, asking what is the likelihood a child will be harmed. Counties use a standard state risk assessment tool to make this judgment, and it's to be filled out according to the state law known as Volume 7 Rules. It determines all of the decisions that you're going to make until something changes. It's critical. It's absolutely critical. It's the foundation of all the work that's going to be done for that child and, the, and that family. That means if the risk assessment is not completed properly and the right questions aren't answered, a child could be left in danger of injury or death. We have obtained the latest detailed state review of county agency practices. The data show that as of November of last year, Denver Human Services completed the risk assessment in accordance with state law only about 55% of the time, and that includes thousands of assessments. That's right, only 11 of every 20 risk assessments were completed accurately, and records show in previous months it was even worse. And even more disturbing is that the statewide average for the accuracy of risk assessments for the other counties last November was less than 60 percent. Little DeAnthony Heron died last July after multiple complaints or referrals about his father Michael Heron, spanning years, but most were screened out. This is a big issue. The concern is that tomorrow we could have another dead baby or that next week or next month. What's more, calling state records, we found that since 2011, Denver Human Services, while the largest agency in Colorado, averaged a smaller percentage of accepting referrals or complaints than any other county in the state. Our investigation finds that DHS accepts only about 30% of all referrals for further assessment, screening out 7 of 10, including multiple referrals involving Michael Heron. There's something wrong because this should never have been screened out. And if this is one of those 70% screened out, how many other kids that are among that group maybe haven't been killed, but what if they've been seriously injured? We can't be confident that we have a system, you know, that's got the safety net that we all suggest that it is. There are gaps and there are holes in that safety net. Denver Human Services declined an on-camera interview to discuss its practices and procedures, passing the buck to the State Department of Human Services. In an email, a DHS spokesperson noted, this is a statewide issue and DHS is working with the state on it, as are other counties. That, of course, answers none of the questions raised by our investigation. And you can be sure we'll continue to dig. I'm 7 News investigator John Ferrugia.